Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you design this Moose logo design in Inkscape by using this image. So without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, if your Inkscape view isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view. Go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then we will set the page dimensions. So go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1920 and hide to 1080 pixels and simply click on this cross icon like this. And now the presence of two panels is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply click once on this icon and you can see that fill and stroke menu is appearing on the right side of your screen. And the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply click on this icon. Now we will import our image in Inkscape from which we will design our logo. So go to file and select import. Then select the destination where you have saved your image. Simply select it and select open. And if you want to practice with the same image, then you can download it from the link given in the description. Now we want to arrange our image at the center of page. For this purpose, simply go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select page and then click on this center on vertical axis and also on center on horizontal axis like this. Now we want to reduce the opacity of our image. For this purpose, go to fill and stroke menu and set the value of opacity to 50% and press enter. Now to zoom the page dimensions, simply click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now to design our geometry, simply select the pencil tool and here we have number of options. From the mode, simply select create regular bezier path and set the value of smoothening to 15 and from the shape select none. And now move your mouse cursor towards the horns. Hold down your left mouse button and move your mouse with respect to the geometry of the horns like this. And you can release your left mouse button once you reached the starting point like this. And now we have a closed geometry. To have a better visual impact we want a solid color so simply click on this red color and we doesn't need the stroke. So we can cancel it by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this cross icon like this. Also reduce the opacity of this distorted shape to 50% like this. And click on this icon which says zoom to fit selection in windows like this. Now simply select edit path by nodes tool and now we will delete all the extra nodes. Like select both of these nodes and press delete. Also this one press delete and also this one and press delete. Now to create a regular geometry we will simply adjust the remaining nodes. Like select this handle and drag it like this. Also this one, like this. Now simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. And you can see that we have a pointy corner. So again select edit pass by nodes tool, click once on this node and to make a perfect and to make a perfect rounded curve we have to make sure that both of these handles should be in a straight line with respect to each other like this. And you can see that the pointy corner is converted into the rounded one like this. Also for this one like this. Again select zoom to fit selection in windows like this. Again select this node and press delete. And to adjust the geometry with respect to the existing image simply drag these handles like this.
now again select this node and press delete also this one and press delete now hold down your left mouse button on this node and drag it towards the left side of your page like this again hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it like this now adjust these two nodes like this now select these three nodes and press delete and adjust this handle in the straight line with respect to the other one to make a perfect rounded shape like this select this node and also press delete Now simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Again select the edit path by nodes tool. Click once on the shape. First select this one and press delete. Also select this one and press delete. And adjust this handle to make a perfect curve. Now select zoom to fit selection in windows. And now we are almost done with the geometry of the horns. Now select zoom to fit page in windows. Now we will continue with the face design. We will design only one half of the face and then we will reflect this one to make the second one. For this purpose, first of all drag this ruler at the center like this. Now press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Now again select the pencil tool and hold down your left mouse button at this position and simply follow the geometry of the face. Now select edit path by nodes tool, then go to stroke style and first of all set the unit of width to pixels and set the value to 50 pixel and press enter. Now also reduce its opacity to 50% like this. Now select both of these nodes and press delete. Now we have to select both of these parts so simply hold down the shift key and click once on this part then go to path and select stroke to path. Again go to path and select union. Now simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Now select edit pass by nodes tool and select all of these nodes and press delete on the keyboard like this. Then go to path and select path effects. And here you can see that path effects menu is appearing on the right side of your screen. Simply click on this small plus icon. Then select the path effect of corners, fill it chamfer like this. And now you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it like this. And you can see that the pointy corner is converted into the rounded one. Once you are done with the rounding corner, go to path and select object to path. Now click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Now select the selection tool. Right click on this shape and select duplicate. Then click on this icon which says flip selected objects horizontally and drag it at this position and now we will change its color to simply differentiate between the parts. So click on this blue color like this. Now we want to place this corner of this blue shape at this corner of this red shape. For this purpose we have to enable the snapping options. So enable the snapping options by simply clicking on this icon. Then click on this one which says snap nodes, paths and handles and then we have to enable two options. First one snap to paths and second one snap to cusp nodes like this. Now hold down your left mouse button at this blue shape and drag it towards this one like this. Now hold down the shift key and click once on this red shape to select both of these parts. Then go to path and select union. Now we will simply work on the geometry of the shape. For this purpose, simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Again select the pencil tool, hold down your left mouse button at this position and draw a simple geometry like this. Now select edit pass by nodes tool, then click once on this node and you can see that the handle is appearing. Simply hold down the control key on your keyboard, then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it towards the left side of your page 
like this. Then select the selection tool, right click and select duplicate. Then click on this icon which says flip selected objects horizontally and drag this line towards the corner of this one like this. Now to select both of these lines, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click once on this line. Then go to path and select combine. Now again select the pencil tool and hold down your left mouse button at this node and draw a simple geometry like this. And now simply release your left mouse button once you reached this node. Now it doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this cross icon like this and we will assign it some solid color like this red color. Now select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click once on this shape, go to path and select union. Now again in the path effects menu, simply click on this plus icon and again select corners. Then select edit path by nodes tool and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every part of the shape. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it like this one to make a curved path like this. And now we want to make a symmetric curved path at this corner. For this purpose, first of all, we will check the value of this corner. So hold down the shift key and click once on this node. And you can see that the value of node distance is 31.4841. So we will simply round the value like 30, select fill it and select modify. Now hold down the shift key and click once on this node and set the value of node distance to 30 and select modify. And you can see that the same value is applied towards this corner. Now once you are done with the rounding corners, simply go to path and select object to path. Now select the selection tool and select zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now it doesn't need this image, so simply select it with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard. And now it's time to design the eyes for the moves. Simply select Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Go to path and select object to path. Again draw a rectangle like this. Again go to path and select object to path. Select the selection tool. Select both of these rectangles. Go to path and select union. Now select the edit path by nodes tool and drag this node towards this corner like this. Now select these three nodes, go to align and distribute menu and click once on this distribute selected nodes vertically like this. Now simply select all of these nodes, go to path and select union. Then go to path effects, click on this icon and select corners. And you can see that green colored nodes are appearing. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it towards this one like this. Also for this one and also for this one like this. And once you are done, go to path and select object to path. And now select the selection tool, go to object and select transform. In the transform menu, simply go to rotate and set the value of angle to 30 degrees, select this direction, clockwise and select apply. And now to reduce the size of this eye, simply hold down your control key, then hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag it like this and then this position. Now right click and select duplicate and click on this icon which says flip selected objects horizontally like this and then hold down the control key and also left mouse button at this shape and drag it in a straight line like this. Now select zoom to fit page in windows. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. And now if you want to remove this ruler at the center of the page, simply move your mouse towards the rulers and click once like this and your ruler will be removed. And you can see that there is a little distortion at the bottom of the shape. To eliminate this, simply select the edit path by nodes tool. Simply select this node and drag it towards this one like this. Go to path and select union. Then select these nodes and press delete. Again go to path and select union. And now we are almost done with our logo. Again select zoom to fit page in windows. Select the selection tool 
and click once on this one hold down the control key and then reduce the size of our shape like this now simply select edit text tool click once on the page and write moose and here we have the option for the font i will simply select mont serret and select the dimensions to normal again select the selection tool hold down the control key and set the size like this now click once on this shape and you can see that the value of width is 501 also select this one and to set the value of the text first of all left click on this lock icon then set the value of width to 501 and press enter now select both of these shapes go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select page and click center on vertical axis like this and now we can apply different colors of our own choice and now this is for today's most design tutorial with the help of an image now please share your thoughts about the design in the comment section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day